We've made a lot of progress with uh, anti-VEGF treatments. The way that we deliver them is intravitreous injection of VEGF neutralizing proteins. And they work pretty well, but what they do is they neutralize VEGF just for a period of time. And then the VEGF starts to come back and you have to re-inject. For most patients, the range is about you know, five to six weeks that they require an injection. And that can go on for their entire life with neovascular AMD or with diabetic macular edema. And so it becomes very difficult for them to come back to the clinic and get those injections as frequently as needed to keep the best possible vision. So what often happens is that patients don't get all the injections they need. Something happens, they may break a leg, they may get sick, they may not, the family member may not be able to take them. So they don't get an injection in the frequency that they need. And over time, the vision gradually goes down. And so it's not just a matter of convenience, it's a matter that they're not getting sufficient treatment and it can result in poorer outcomes.